automatic uh, slave, mm -hmm. uh, post-traumatic post slavery disorder. Slavery disorder, I think she calls it. Yeah, yeah, Her yeah. name is Dr. Joy DeGloy. Mm -hmm. She's a psychologist in America. She's also a pastor. Oh, okay. She she came here in two thousand and five six, and I was very one of very very lucky to have uh, a signed copy. Oh, nice. Um, so nice. she she defined it extremely well. Right. Um, if my children were here, for instance, mm. um, they would tell you something uh, mm. that um, Dr. De Groo, um defined. Uh, she, when she talked about it, I was like, we were all looking at each other. <laughs> Do you know that we, we um, us as black people, right. we want to look good? Yeah, of course, of course. And of we course. want to pretend that mm, everything is fine? Yeah. Even when it is not. When it is horribly wrong. And so she called it the look. The look? Yeah. Oh. So um, I will be with my children. When they were young, obviously, now yeah. they're grown up, so yeah. they can do their own thing. Um, they will be doing something that other, other children will do, and it mm. will be okay. Mm. I would only give them the look, and they would know that they shouldn't. Mm. And then they've stopped. So, mm. so then we, we act. It's about acting. Okay. We act right. Um, we don't. First of all, we, we we're looking at, especially if you're looking at, at the the neo-colonial stuff. Mm -hmm. We 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 really want to be British. Yeah, yeah. But we're not. If we if we be honest enough about it. Yeah, we yeah. want to act like we're. we're and, and we don't want to be even working class British. We want, we to, want be to be the highest of middle or or, oh, okay, or top or, or top. Or, you know. Uh, British, we, and, but then by doing that, we relinquish uh, our own cultures. Mm -hmm. um, we dress a certain way. Mm -hmm. We wear certain clothes. Sure. We, we, uh, for for women especially. I mean, mm -hmm. if there's one particular gender that has been very much affected, I know there's the the, the issue of black men is also there. But yeah. if if you want to understand post-traumatic stress, uh, mm -hmm. slave disorder, look at black women. Mm. We're the ones that have the longest nails, we're the ones that have the, the, the wigs, okay. we, we spend so much money on, on the, Trying outer, to change our, the outer, yeah. the cosmetic thing, but internally we're really struggling. Okay. Internally. Um, so it, it is that internal working model that we haven't really worked out. Okay. Uh, black men are the same as well. Just it just manifests differently because obviously our brains are wired differently, yeah, I guess, definitely. in how we do it. I, I know for a fact I, I, aggression is definitely one of them. Oh, we resort to aggression very easily extreme. in conversations and things of that nature. Extreme. You know, the, the need to kind of assert self. Appear macho. Appear macho. Yeah. And, and that's what is known today as toxic masculinity is mm, that it's because yeah. it's unnecessary and it doesn't do good for you or the collective. Or the collective. Yeah, exactly. I understand that. And this is how we've, uh, now, especially with, with black men, mm. that's how we have. Yes, there is racism, mm. but that's how we have all ended up with conduct disorder. Okay. Because... Um, is that anything related to ADD or something like when we were kids? Because that's what they, they slapped us with. The ADD they was... They said we were... Yeah, but, but that, we that was... Again, it, like that, yeah, yeah, it was because... Or conduct disorder or something. I remember hearing conduct disorder from my teacher. Yeah. I remember that. Because it, it, it wasn't... Um, again, it was the, 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 the misunderstanding uh, mm. of who we are as a people. Because I remember telling my kids when they were being bullied, they were like, yeah, if they bully you, just, you know, <laughs> you understand? Malcolm X, by any means, defend yourself. <laughs> defend yourself. But then they would see that as aggression, whereas mm. really um, we could have done dealt with it very differently. Right. Um, so, yeah, the, the manifestation, because now for them, they diagnose, the diagnosis, if mm. where they say the DSM, uh, four uh, or five now, I mean, five whether it's the ICD-10, there is, or ICD-11, I think actually we're now on 11, um, there is a particular, they say, my name is Deborah, I live in three, in wherever I live, I, um, I am a woman, I am this, I am this, I am a certain age, so they, I give them reasons to think that because of how I'm behaving, then, um, I must have this. 
Okay. So when you see young black men doing certain things, <coughs> then we, especially when people fear what they do not know. We've definitely seen that. Yeah. Um, so they then try to, to sort of label you or categorize you into something. Okay. Um, and I think that's where, yeah, the PTSD comes All those things in. come in. Yeah. Uh, and of course, yeah, racism and microaggression as well. Because uh, as a young, a young black man or a black man of any age, um, you are a threat. Yeah, there's this, that's that's um, reflected in in American society when we see black um, unarmed black men being killed exactly. at an alarming rates because it's always a threat level I involved. Don't, I don't know if I can speak about this, but I don't know if you've heard about how uh, virility how people assume, especially white women assume that mm. black men are very good, uh, you know, in bed. Okay. But then it becomes, it is not because they. They don't want to engage your brain. Mm, they want to hypersexualize you. Yeah, but they, yeah, exactly. Cool. Exactly. It's true. They want to engage with the other facets of you. I think exactly. we have conversation like that as young people, as far as like how black women have become a fetish mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. and black women have to be so conscious of that yeah. because they may not want you for your yeah. brilliance. They yeah. might just want you because of their own exactly. fetish towards it. Because exactly. all of this stuff is part of what's doing our minding because if you treat people like that over and over again, yeah. they'll start to believe some of the lies and act in a way. Yeah. But one key part that I want to definitely get a definition of from that woman is, this, do you remember how she defined PTSD? Do you remember how she defined it? Uh, is that PTSD mm -hmm. as in PTSD or as in PTSD? How she, she post traumatic she, stress syndrome? Uh, post traumatic slavery disorder. Slavery disorder. How she did it in the book? Uh, she she dealt with it in such a way that us black people mm. have struggled with mm. this. That up until when we understand, mm -hmm. um, uh, we understand. I probably buy a copy and if I can, I will, you can read it. Up until we understand the effect mm -hmm. of all the things that we've had to go through, from mm -hmm. slavery, from, you know, <coughs> thinking about how people got sold mm -hmm. and then went and li lived a life of uh, servitude mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, sort of broke out of, of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we're still trying to maintain because if you think about, like, even in America, the black churches, if you've ever been... Mm -hmm. Uh, the black churches, there's a way that everyone turns up all dressed up and da, yeah. da, da, da. you go to a white church, everyone just comes no, in and they're you know, soul, you know, but the, that amount, that up until we can understand the effect of that trauma, mm. and it, it is a huge trauma, right? and accept it. Okay, so we uh, first have to become conscious and self-aware that it exists. It, it, it exists. Okay, and it, this is how it and, messes and it, us it up. it has existed for <coughs> generations. It's mm. not a new thing. But I think maybe the new generation, maybe what uh, the new generation, your generation, mm. needs to understand that, yeah, it was there. But then how can we now deal with it? Deal with it, it? Okay. Because post-traumatic stress, if, if I was to give you the symptoms, it's about flashbacks. Okay. Yeah, it's about nightmares. Oh. It is about anxiety. It is about uh, sometimes low mood. Um, flashbacks, what they bring is uh, a, a poor sleep. Right. Um, low self-esteem. Right. So if we can understand those things, we, then we can actually then work on those symptoms so that we can um, then allow ourselves as a people as a mm. people, uh, to then hold our heads high and just say, look, this is who we are. We're here, and please recognize us. And mm. and then we can start that healing process. Oh, okay. But you cannot heal what you do not know. Okay, so the first step is you have to be conscious of it to even oh, this, start yeah. to tackle it as an issue. Yeah, exactly. And then all this stuff that you even described does describe the way we function on mm. a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't take much for black people to fall apart. Mm. Like we can disagree and it becomes so bitter yeah. immediately. Yes. And I'm thinking, is does that have anything to do with those flashbacks of? Because I know I, I just only learned five years ago about genetic trauma from being passed through genetics. Mm. So I'm like, so when something happens and I follow up another black person, it becomes so bitter and so mm. unhealthy. Mm. Is it because how I feel about myself, how they made me feel about myself, is what I'm staring up. 
into this bitterness that I'm projecting back. Projecting right because in. you're making my my memory go back to a space where I was less than nothing. Projective idea. So, okay, okay, okay. It doesn't take much for, for mm. us as a black people, as a black uh, people to be reduced to nothing. Because um, much as you were born, you said you were born here. Uh, you I'm born in Sierra Leone, my mom's born here. But uh, someone will meet you in the street and something happens, they go back to your country. And then you go, which country? <laughs> or um, a classic is, where are you from originally? And, and I, I, used I, to, I could ask them the same question. Where are you from originally? Because I'm sure you're here. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. true. Exactly. But but sometimes that reduces us. It's like, ooh, I need to. Okay. Uh, see, I never looked at it as even 